Today we're going to propagate hibiscus. Well, welcome to my sunroom. I'm Kay here on my Tennessee homestead. And when I was an urban gardener in LA, someone sent me seeds and I had the most beautiful cranberry hibiscus plant that stood about eight feet tall right at the front of my property and the flowers were and leaves were the color of my shirt. Now very often hibiscus leaves are green and then you have stunning flowers but this particular plant has the dark eggplant colored leaves and makes such a striking addition to your garden. So when I arrived in Tennessee I wanted to be sure and grow this again. Last year I used a few of my last seeds and I had uh, I think five big bushes last year. This year I only managed four. Right after I got them planted the deer ate them almost to the ground. But they came back and they were six to seven feet tall and huge and absolutely stunning. The thing about cranberry hibiscus, or at least my experience, is it takes all season to get the flowers and the seeds. So I did not manage either last year or this year to collect seeds because it never flowered because we had early frosts. So last year I did the same thing as I did this year. I managed to salvage a branch that was at the bottom of the bush you know, the frost comes down from the top and all the, <laughs> all the stems are just mush. But underneath, where it was protected from the upper stems and leaves, branches and leaves, there were some branches at the bottom that were still good and viable. I did the same thing last year that I did again this year. Went down and I found some branches. But I am determined to get an earlier start next year. So, rather than just taking my cutting, which you see here in the background, to flowers and seeds, and then starting seeds in the spring, I want to have plants growing. So I can set out plants after the first frost and have seeds and flowers for drying for tea. The normal way to propagate hibiscus is by cuttings. And you would take branches off of new wood four to six inches long. You would cut just below the bottom node where the leaf comes out. You would make your cut. Take off all the other leaves except for the top. Stick that stem into rooting hormone and then press it into a small container of potting soil that is half perlite and half soil keeping it damp. It should be damp when you push it in and you keep it damp and you cover that with plastic or plastic wrap without touching the leaves and in two to four weeks they should take root and start growing. Okay, since I had such a good experience just sticking these long branches into a jar of water, I have roots coming off of four cuttings. So what I'm going to do is pot two of those directly into soil, trimming off the top, and I'm also going to take cuttings off of the top, off of the new wood, which I have several branches that are, that are coming up with new wood. So we're going to do it two ways. I noticed that the water was down low in the jar, and it had a lot of roots, and I actually have five stems in here so we will investigate and see what's best to use but as you can see as it grew that the new leaves are more greenish this is all new growth from here off of this cut branch this was <laughs> this branch was like 28 inches long you don't need that much but that's what I did just to be sure it you know, sometimes you stick stems in water and nothing happens. How many times has that happened to you? Leave me a comment below. It's happened to me a lot. So this one is putting out new growth here, uh, here, 
and a big one up here. So let's make some cuts and do some potting. And you see I've got nice roots coming off here. Okay, so we have growth coming out here, so I'm going to cut this just below this node. So that's one. And then we're going to remove these leaves. As you can see, we've already got more plant wanting to sprout in that joint. And we're just going to leave these at the top because look, we've got these florets coming up. The other one I'm going to get is from here. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it right there. Again, we're just going to trim off these leaves. Just leave the grouping at the top. This is rooting hormone. Got a little leaf there. And we're just going to stick it in there. Okay, one and two. You can see they've got white rooting hormone on there. We're just going to stick them down. Actually, I'm going to make a hole with my finger, push it in. Make sure your soil is damp, and then just close it in. The reason it shouldn't be too much higher than that is because <laughs> you have to cover it with plastic, so that's the taller it is, the harder that would be. I have some very thin sandwich bags, very lightweight. I'm putting in a plastic knife. <laughs> Actually, I think I want to do this on this side. This is wanting to lean. Give it a little support. You know what we can do, since we've got growth coming out at that node, we can take that off and that. That helps a lot. We might do that here too. Let's see. No, wait. I'm going to take that one. And hopefully, I can balance this like so. And Okay, that will do for now, and then what I'll do is take that to the green thing. Now, as soon as this takes off and starts growing, <laughs> I'm going to have to readjust. But I think once it starts growing, we can get rid of the plastic. Okay. Okay, here we have two plants. Now, if you're doing tropical hibiscus, you might want to do extra, maybe double the amount that you want to wind up with, just in case they don't take. But I should wind up with two plants from this. What you could do is continue to grow cuttings from these main branches since I have the, the roots. I could continue to grow these and root these. So I think I'm just going to put them in fresh water and take off a few more cuttings. Since I have nice roots under this and it's already a nice branch, 
I'm going to just plant this entire thing in potting soil and see how it does. You know what? I need a deeper pot. Okay. There's one. We'll see if that takes. And I'll do this one as well. Let me go grab some potting soil. On this one I'm going to put in a little rooting hormone because I only have two or three baby roots there. And I think it might help. So I'm just going to get that all nice and dipped in. I'm going to put it in all the way. This is a nice strong stem. Okay, and as for these three, I am going to keep these as feeder branches to develop more cuttings. Okay, put your fresh cuttings in a shady place for two to four weeks and hopefully they'll take off. And we will get a head start on planting out hibiscus after the first frost. I hope this is helpful. I hope you subscribe to my channel where I am building a sustainable homestead on a little over nine acres. I had a tiny garden in LA and now I've got a big garden that I'm trying to manage and I am showing you all the challenges and all the successes, the good and the bad, of what it takes to do this. So I hope that's of interest and I hope you subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications, scroll down and click all. And I look forward to seeing everyone in the next video.